Right, okay, so first of all what we'll do is we're going to have a quick look at the syllabus. The syllabus kind of highlights everything. All of this is really, really simple. Trimming a sound clip, really simple. Joining together two sound clips, again, very, very simple. Uh, fade in and out, also very simple. Altering the speed, again, this, all of this is quite simple. Change the pitch. All of this, I reckon, they've probably looked at Audacity and said, what can we do with Audacity? Um, Overdub a sound clip to include a voiceover, so I'm going to pretend we've got a voiceover because I don't think I have one. Export a sound clip in different file formats, we'll go through that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We've gone through the use of MP3 in different sample rates, that's the one we did with sound and data representation. Uh, so, uh, let's open up Audacity. I'm going to use completely random sound clips, they're not even from our course or anything, but you should kind of get the gist. So you go file, import audio, I've put some on the desktop, I think, I have not put any on the desktop, ah, here we go. So we'll take one sound first of all, I think this is just a very, very simple action sound. did not expect that I thought it was gonna be like okay three two one action but very wrong okay so uh, I'm gonna say well this is obviously way too long let's say the question wants us to take the first 10 seconds you can actually zoom in by holding down control and scrolling forward so I can see that that's 10 seconds there so I'm just gonna go control shift and that doesn't work so let's highlight all of it okay now to get rid of stuff I'm just gonna very very quickly press delete. I didn't mean to add on the last bit, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a fade in. So I highlight the part I want to fade in, I go to effect, and then I go fade in. And you can see that it's kind of faded that in. So now if we listen, you can hear it takes a couple of seconds to get up to optimum volume. Now I'm going to fade out the last three seconds. So about there, in fact, that's two seconds. So there to there, and we go to effect and fade out. And you can see that we've got this kind of like pine cone effect. So when I <laughs> Beautiful, right? Now, another thing that I've seen come up in a question that Jeremy reminded me of is that sometimes it says, put the tracks into a mono. So if you click on this, there are a couple of things you can do and you can split the stereo to mono and it gives you two separate ones, there we go and you can remove that one and now we have a mono track why you'd ever want to do that is beyond me but if a question asks you, there you go uh, another thing you might want to do is you might want to merge two tracks together so I'm going to import another audio track from my desktop, there we go let's go for at the back Yep. Huh? I'll show you again. So now I've got airport ambient track or something. Now, uh, let's say that I want that to be in the background of my track um, and it wants us to combine the tracks. In fact, let's say that in, in the first five seconds of this has to go at the end of the original track. So all I'm going to do is highlight it. You can then go Control X, which cuts it. Then I'm going to click on the mono track and press Paste. Okay, so what I've just done is tried to paste a stereo track onto a mono one. So I'm going to make this one into a mono as well. So I click on this. I go down to Split Stereo Track. And you can see that it's now split it into two separate tracks. So I'm going to take this to here, just watch the screen. Control X, then I'm going to go up here and press Control V, and you can see that's been added on. The reason it's faded out grey is because I have put it on mute. I can also make this louder. As you can hear, it kind of distorts it when you make it a little bit too loud.
what else did it say for us to do? So we've joined together two sound clips. We fade in, we fade out. Altering the speed. Okay. So now for this remaining amount here, we're going to make it a little bit quicker. So we go to edit, change speed. And we're going to blow my speakers. There we go. You can see that's reduced the length. We can't really hear the difference, but it's actually sped it up quite a bit. Guys, shh, shh, shh. Uh, so, all right, we'll speed up this bit. And just notice where it says percent change, that's from the original. So if I want to change it by 75%, I just go to there. If you go to there, 400% faster, that's going to be a bit mental. So just bear that in mind. So here we go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That sounds absolutely terrible, yeah. Okay, so now what we'll do, uh, we could have done with someone talking. I'm actually going to undo that, and then I'm just going to change. Shh, guys, I'm now going to change the pitch. So if I go on pitch, uh, again, you'll see that this is, at the moment, set to default to slow it down by 25%. Uh, not 25%, to reduce the pitch lower by 25% in terms of hertz. Uh, this is just from the last time I would have changed it. So if you've never done that before, it might be on zero. So just be aware that you do need to pay attention to the percent. So I'm going to increase it by like 100%, which should kind of make it like halfway to a chipmunk. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Kind of sounds like a 90s action film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Hackers. Okay, so we change the pitch, we change the speed. Uh, the reverb is if you add an echo to it. So let's make this even worse. So we go to effect, uh, echo. Again, this is going to sound really, really horrible. Overdub a sound clip to include a voiceover. Okay. If we then, so let's just get rid of this last bit, and this is supposed to be our backing track, and let's pretend that this is our voiceover. The backing track, you have to make a little bit quieter. Okay, and then this one, you would make louder. You should just about be able to hear this in the background and clearly be able to hear the voice. That is the idea. <laughs> So I'd actually say I've made that too loud, to be honest. So let's... So you should just be able to hear the backing track in the background, almost like it's coming from a shop inside. So you can just about hear that. Obviously, if we were using words, you'd be able to clearly go like, oh yeah, I can hear the person talking. Um, that wasn't a very good example because neither of them have got words in, so there's no voiceover. But you do just need to change the levels. Okay, the last thing's probably exporting. Yeah, export a sound clip in different file formats. So file, export audio. Uh, let's just go for desktop. You'll see here you've got a couple of different file formats. Uh, I'm probably going to have to make sure that we can export in MP3. Uh, it depends what's on your paper. Uh, so let's just go export one. Uh, your track will be mixed down to two, stu blah, two stereo channels. That basically just means that you've got three or more than two at the moment. So you can just press whatever you like. Now, guys, this is really, really important. Audacity is free software. It's actually very good for free software. But it also means that sometimes there are a couple of glitches. What do you think you should do? 
once you've exported. Check it. This is going to sound terrible. Okay, May, June, let's have a look at the past paper then. May, June 2020? Yeah. Okay, uh, you are required to provide evidence, place your name, open the file, 206 voice A, suitable, okay, convert the clip from stereo to mono, trim the clip to remove the bells, Add a quiet section at the end so the clip becomes six seconds long. Amplify the sound to the maximum volume without clipping. Okay, so maximizing a sound without clipping, you can see at the moment the whole of this blue line is inside of this section, right? Yeah. However, this one is outside of the section, so they've clipped the top bit off so it sounds distorted. What they want you to do is go to Effect, Amplify, then you'll see this button. If I can't press OK, it's because it started to clip it. Okay? So you won't be able to do it by much. In fact, okay, so when I press clipping, it means that this guy here has already been cut off at the top. So you see that all of this one fits inside the line. Yeah? Just changing it a little bit means this top bit has been cut off. Now, to be honest, if the test said and it gave you this sound and there was just one peak that was like that, I would continue to keep going like that until you can see that it still, most of it fits inside of the line. So until there's like a couple of these clipping, you're not going to be able to hear it. Okay, so that would probably be what I would do. The question, guys, was uh, amplify the sound to the maximum volume without clipping and then mix the file voice B to add to the end of the first clip so the clip is a single monophonic track. So when you import that, it's probably, I haven't done the question, but I'm going to guess how Cambridge worked. This is probably a stereo track you also have to put down into a mono. Then you cut and paste it to the end of the first clip six seconds after this one finishes. The quiet section, so okay, let's do it here. So let's say I need to have six seconds of quiet section here. I can see that this one finishes roughly 60, 17 seconds. 17 plus six, 23. So I'm then just gonna take the last, I don't know, this much here. I'm gonna go control X, I jump to 23, and I press paste. I've now got a quiet section in between. Okay, here we go. So, after 23 seconds, I want to have... Uh, sorry, after the first clip, there needs to be a six second quiet section, which is to about there, all right? So, I'm just gonna take, pretend the question asked me to take from 25 onwards, 25 seconds of this clip onwards. I cut it, and then I go to wherever six seconds is after that one, so about there, and I press paste. Now I've got a quiet section, or a silent section. Okay, so let's say I have to create it after 10 seconds of the first one, there should be a silent, and then the clip continues, yeah? So what I do is I click on the clip, clip bit that continues, like that, control X, let's move it on say three seconds, control V, I've now got a silent sec section here, and a silent section here. Okay, but do note, when I've pasted that, it's no longer six seconds between them, so you would just need to readjust it from 20, go to 26. Huh? It just says it up here. A 
what? I just click. I just click to go to 26. That's it. So if I want to do it to 35, I go to 35 and I press Control V. Just, I'm just using the numbers at the top. So the question was, how do I go there so quickly? So if I go to 23, I can just click, like, or 22 this is. I click there. Make sure you're on stop. Yeah, so that's like 22. Then I press paste. That's all I'm doing. Filippo. OK, yeah. I was going to come on to that. Filippo's just asked, when they say quiet, do they mean quiet or silent? Because this is obviously completely silent. If they want it to be really quiet, so let's say they said go for a quiet section and you're not sure, you can highlight over that, you go to Effect, Amplify, and you can turn it right down. And you'll see it's got a lot smaller. I would probably go more than that, actually. So you're here for a second now. Still very quietly coming out. You probably can't even hear it. I think if it says quiet section, reduce the, make it a lot quieter, but not silent. And if it says a gap, then that means silent. So you amplify it. Sorry? Yeah, you amplify it and make it go lower. Yeah. I'm just, I tell you what, this, I'm going to double check the mark scheme and see if they've actually uh, given a mark for it. So. Bells removed, quiet section added to end. Sound amplified. To, so they don't actually make it. I think that's quite ambiguous. I would make it amplified really, really, really low. All right? Because I would say that's quiet. Silent is no sound, isn't it? Otherwise, I think they would say silent. OK, I'm going to stop the recording. Any other questions? Yeah. So fade in is just, if the sound's really loud straight away, it starts it off quiet and then it comes in and gets louder. Fade out is just, it gets the sound at the end and reduces it slowly. Okay, so amplify makes the sound louder, whereas fade out makes it go quiet. Yeah, I think that's what you mean. This bit? Yeah. Uh, because you can then do a specific part of this. This does the whole channel. So if I had all of these sounds in here, and it said only to affect the first five seconds, I have to highlight, affect, amplify. Otherwise, if I do this, all of it gets louder. All right? If, the amp if you amplify it to go quieter, fade out creates like a cone shape. So watch the difference. This is fade out. You can see that it stayed loud here and then got quieter and quieter and quieter until it's gone. Okay? Effect, amplify. If I go like that, you'll see that all of it straight away just gets reduced. Ready? So it's all been level, leveled out and reduced in the sound. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop it there.